discussion. I met her in Philly, and her name was Brown Sugar. See, we be making love constantly. That's why my eyes are a shade blood burgundy. The way that we kiss is unlike any other way that I be kissing when I'm kissing. What I'm missing, won't you listen? Brown Sugar, babe. I guess high up your love, I don't know how to be so here. I'm about to do and if I have enough energy because I really do need to go into Walmart I got some stuff I need to get <sighs> I really don't feel like it mm -hmm. anyway so I'll call y'all back hey y'all so I'm packing um please don't mind how I look right now but I'm packing for we're going on a trip we're going to Texas so I got stuff all in my bed my little wax machine so I can wax under my arms. Um, I'm packing the kids' suitcases and stuff right now. Let me so see. mouthwash and stuff like that. Um, clothes in there. Um, this suitcase is the one I'm gonna be carrying. This is my mom's suitcase. All of these is my mom's suitcases. Uh, those are some clothes of my mom's that I'm not ready to get rid of, like these right here. So. Um, yeah so that's what i'm doing i got more stuff over there um you know like toiletries girl stuff and wash and this is some hair grease i was eating chips y'all and then some edge control and all that good stuff and then i showed y'all use these labels for when i was going to visit my husband so i still got them i'm using these and then i got a new one of these travel size ones from um walmart so yeah so that's what I'm doing. I'm packing. Y'all probably not gonna see this video. More than likely, y'all gonna see this after we already have went. Um, but yeah, so that's what I'm doing. I got to do our hair, all of our hair. My sister washing her hair right now. Um, yeah. So I just want to show y'all. I'm packing.
feeling And her name was brown sugar See, we've been making love constantly That's why my eyes are a shade Black burgundy The way that we kiss is unlike any other way That I be kissing when I'm kissing What I'm missing, won't you listen? Brown sugar, babe I guess high off your love I don't know how to feel it stuff I need to do today um a lot of little errands that I need to run the kids this is their first time going well not my sisters but since they've been with me I mean since my sister been with me um before school start I agreed to letting them go with their friends and I'm super nervous y'all I'm really overprotective of my family um of my kids i'm i'm like very very overprotective i feel some kind of way when the kids are not around me and my son has only been around family i don't really well really around my mom and i think my aunt watched him by herself um my mother-in-law but even when my mom used to give me breaks and before she got like really sick or whatever um I would call. I wouldn't know what to do. It's like, I, I need a break, but then I would call all day just to check and see how he doing. You know, I guess it's a good thing, but it's a it's also a bad thing because I worry myself so much. You know what I mean? But um, yes, I'm very overprotective. I gotta know what they doing, all that stuff. So I'm a little nervous, more so with Javon. Um, my sister is actually going to spend a night with her friend or whatever, but uh Javon he's just going out for a couple of hours but I'm like super nervous I want to make sure they doing what they supposed to do you know on their best behavior things like that so yeah but anyways I'm about to run um in the bank real quick and then uh oh yeah y'all I'm wearing my purse and then I'm gonna go to Walmart I'm wearing one of my purses from um Mother's Day that the kids and my husband had got me so yeah that's what I got going on and I'm going to try to edit a video today, but we've been back for two days. Yesterday, I had to go out and run errands and stuff, but I've also been trying to um, catch up on my sleep. The kids the kids only have a couple of more weeks. Um, I think like two weeks, week and a half, something like that before school starts. So now I'm just like ripping and running. So we went on vacation and I got stuff I got to do before school starts for them. So yeah, so anyways, I'll be back, y'all. All right, y'all, so I got that done and out the way. Um, also, while we were out of town, my mom's birthday was July 14th. So, y'all, was emotional. I miss my mom. We wore our T-shirts uh, for her birthday. Um, but I just, I could not hold it in listening to different songs. And this was her, I kind of didn't want to go because this will be her first birthday. Um that we would be celebrating without her so i kind of didn't want to go but the kids wanted to go so um yeah it was just a lot like i don't know it's when i tell y'all it's so hard like sometimes when i be so busy i be expecting for her to come back like like i don't be thinking about it in the sense that she won't come back i be expecting for her to come back you know, like me being an adult, I've been living on my own. So I've been months or weeks or whatever without actually physically seeing my mom. So it's not like a 
separation attachment or whatever the case may be but now it's like not talking to her not seeing her and then the busyness that i have with life sometimes i just be thinking you know like oh yeah i'm gonna see her you know because it's not out of the norm versus me being a kid living with her on a daily if that makes sense to y'all but girl so when we got back home um the kids wanted to bake a cake i did record some footage i think i took a picture of the cake so they baked the cake they did it all on their own i went um and got some candles i got some balloons and we uh rolled on our balloons and did a balloon release for her even though it was after her birthday we sung happy birthday to her you know in her area um in the living room with her urn and stuff like that so and the day before was it the day before when we got back no i think it mm, was that yesterday girl i'm all discombobulated i think it was yesterday i woke up at like five in the morning and um i went in the living room and laid on the couch and i took her urn and laid it you know set it on the couch with me and i laid in her favorite spot and i fell back to sleep but I talk to her and stuff you know I just I really miss my mom and I, f I feel bad for her that this happened to her and it's like it happened to everybody right the circle of life I guess but when it's personal when it's you going through it it's different you know it feels different it's like I don't know unbelievable to me and some people you know now since it's been seven months people is you know like it's time for you to move on or yeah you know you'll be all right and stuff that type of stuff i don't want to hear that i thank you appreciate it but i i don't want to hear that that makes me upset you telling me to move on or don't still be sad and stuff everybody grieves in a different way that pisses me off like hearing that um and in my group therapy a lot of people go through the same thing that's not something that you want to hear that it's time for you to move on and stuff you you don't know what people are going through you know so but yeah so anywho i'm about to go to um do that at walmart and then where else am i going i need to get gas i'm gonna see if i if i'm gonna get gas while i'm out um but yeah so i'll call y'all back Hello. good morning i'm leaving the post office right now um I just picked up a package back to school for the kids is what I've been busy with doing. Um, so I got my baby some shoes. I picked up my sister's shoes yesterday. I need to go shopping for clothes and, you know, stuff like that or whatever. Um, yeah, so right now I'm about to go get me a coffee, y'all. It's hot as I don't know what. My air conditioning in my apartment has been broke for four days these people was taking so long they keep lying talking about oh we sent somebody out they're gonna come today i was up to like two in the morning they said they were gonna come at 10 last night they just keep lying to me y'all and it's really been pissing me off it's been a hundred and something degrees and i got two kids like man so um so yeah these extreme heats is not good for me and especially for the kids like literally it's like been suffering y'all last night at two in the morning it was 92 degrees up in my apartment all right y'all so i got my coffee from a.m p.m they had this two dollar coffee at um a.m p.m meeting hey y'all good morning i am I'm about to turn return these um shoes that I had picked up. I think that was the last clip that y'all seen from um the post office because I had to get another size um for my son or whatever. So I'm about to drop them off. I ended up going to USPS because I thought that's where they told me to take them and I went to the wrong place. Okay, did I pass it up? I thought it was over here somewhere. It's it's the UPS store and I went to, ended up going to the regular post office yesterday. <laughs> I was so mad. I was like, oh my gosh. I can't believe I did that. But anywho. <sighs> but yeah, so I'm about to return these and then I need to go to the beauty supply store. Y'all it's so hot. The gas ain't cheap. Y'all it's hot. But um yeah, so I need to go to the beauty supply store also to get um, my sister 
some hair because I need to do her hair over for school. So let me run in here um, real quick. I'm gonna get it. Oh, I'm on the way. Okay. So that when I get it, I'm gonna get it. I'm gonna get it. Oh, I'm on the way. What's that day we go to? I ain't checking before I came. My bump thing got huge. It wasn't even this big earlier. I usually wear my mask, but since I've been running in and out of different places, like for the last week or so, and I need to order some more. But I haven't been putting my mask on. People still be looking at us crazy when we be wearing masks. I'm trying to decide since y'all know it's the summer, but COVID supposedly is not as bad um, as it was, you know, as it used to be, of course. But I, I still don't want to be sick <laughs> or the kids. So um, I'm gonna see if they're comfortable with wearing masks to school still because it is the summer. So. We'll see, cause this summer seemed like it's hotter than last summer. Or maybe it's just me, cause y'all know, I, I just don't do the heat. Can't do the heat, get out the kitchen. And girl, when it come to that, I'm happy. I'm happy to. So now I'm about to go to the beauty supply store. It's what, 11 in the morning. Dang, y'all going super fast to get to a red light. I mean, man, y'all going to a red light. Jeez Louise, they going super fast to get to this red light. I'm about to go here. I ain't waiting for that no more. All right. But yeah, so I'm about to go to the post stop. The post office. I'm about to go to the beauty supply store to get this here. I need to do it. I've been dreading doing laundry because it's been so hot. My AC has still been off my... Um, leasing office finally on the fourth day offered me some ac units so um that's what i've been using so they brought one it's the one that you have to refill with water so you have to keep the window open um but i'm glad that i got something because i you know can't complain because the water goes down pretty quick uh because we have it on high because it's so hot but you, so you have to refill it you know often but that's better than just having a fan because it do it does have an uh, effect to it so i could tell the difference and i asked them to bring us um two more or whatever so i could put one in the kids room and in the living room so it's definitely been helping out a lot but it's crazy y'all they just left me like on the cliffhanger i sent several emails everything um and now it's like the person quit supposedly the person quit but it's like i wasn't getting no updates i had to actually hit them up to see what was going on so i'm like is the person still coming but for them to bring them ac units that's what made me believe like okay so it's not gonna be fixed no time soon so what monday will make it a week um a full seven days monday will make it a full seven days girl when i tell you this heat ain't no joke, honey. My phone got in here. I didn't have it on the charger last night. I was knocked out. I was knocked out yesterday. I was so busy. <sighs> but, um, so this is the hair that I got for her. It's the same color. She wanted the same color to match her braces. Um, And then I gotta do Javon's hair, you know, so it'd be fresh for school. And I also need to, um, what else do I need to do? I need to go, you know, pick up different things so we'll be stocked up for school or whatever for them. So, y'all, these these kids nowadays in school, I uh, um, to comment below, do y'all, cause I know some people like in the past told me they had like older kids. Do y'all have younger kids? like younger kids that's still school age kids let me know um because i know we can relate to a lot of stuff you know what's going on in these schools now like when i was in school you know it was issues or whatever but girl these kids now 
it make you want to homeschool like for real the stuff that be going on up in these schools um now the stuff that the kids be wearing and all that stuff is <sighs> i'll be concerned but i don't let you know your mind.